Hello everybody, this is Excalibur of Excalibur Zone Gaming, and welcome to the first episode of the FLGS News Report. This is going to be a show where we go over the events that are coming up in the local game shops here in Richmond, Virginia, and we're going to uh, do interviews and stuff like that with uh, the folks who run these stores. In addition to that, we are going to uh, talk about each store um, separately. This first installment is going to go over the events for the week of, and I've got to bring up the calendar here really quick, weeks of um, Monday, September 22nd, 2014, through Sunday, September 28th, 2014. There are currently... Um, five game stores in the area that I'm aware of and in alphabetical order they're Dragon's Den Games in Glen Allen, FTW in Midlothian, One-Eyed Jacks in Carytown, Richmond Comics in Midlothian, and the Time Capsule in Hopewell. We're gonna go over each one in order. We're gonna talk about what they offer at the store and we are going to uh, go over their calendar of events for the next week. As these episodes go along, we are going to have interviews with the managers at Dragon's Den Games, um, or the owners. Dragon's Den Games, this is a, a store that I worked at for a short time. The owners are Scott Takahashi and Ed Cahill. Um, and managers, I am aware of them currently being Phil Glau, and Kevin Hamrick are the managers I am aware of at Dragon's Den Games. I do not know um, if they have hired new managers, but we will be uh, talking with these managers and the store owners at some point in the future. Um, today we have a couple of items of note. First off, and I'll include this down in the description, and you'll see it splash up on the screen. Um, the Dragon's Den is sponsoring a giveaway on my channel on YouTube, and they, the the um, the giveaway includes a copy of uh, the Lord of the Rings: The Confrontation. It's a two-player strategy game, and two decks of Unicorn Clan. Uh, promo decks. Now, with uh, this contest, you will have to go in and subscribe to my YouTube channel and like the video and leave a comment about your favorite game and uh, if you've been to the Dragon's Den before. Um, optionally, you can favorite the giveaway video. Um, and alternatively, you can use the raffle, uh, raffle copter, which I have uh, um, I'll have the link to that as well. Now, <clears throat> once I reach 100 subs on my YouTube channel, I will choose three random subscribers who have followed the rules, liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment, or using the raffle copter. And uh, unfortunately, I can only ship to the U.S. Um, for this giveaway. If you're local to the Richmond, Virginia area, I can leave the prize. Um, that you've won at the Dragon's Den for pickup. Now, the Dragon's Den is um, a quite an interesting place. Uh, it's one of the only gaming stores in the area that up uh, they're upfront about catering to children. They don't mind if you drop their kids off and you go next door and take a look at the home theater equipment or um, if you go to uh, another store in the area maybe to get your nails done if you're a mom or something like that and they will um, happily play games with kids and teach them how to play games that are on display and demo. Um, the Dragon's Den stocks most popular games and accessories and this is um, this extends to Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, The Legend of the Five Rings, Netrunner, um, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Just to name of the few of the card games. Board games, they, 
they have an entire wall dedicated entirely to board games. This includes WizKids, uh, Nevermore Games, AEG, GameRight, Arcane Wonders, Fantasy Flight Games, Slugfest Games, Rio Grande, Days of Wonder, Steve Jackson Games, you name it. And it's probably up there on the wall. You can also um, do um, special order and you can ask them to uh, order things that aren't in stock. But um, And even if it's not in print, they will do their best to track down what you're looking for. In addition to board games and card games, they have a wide variety of miniature tabletop wargaming, such as Star Trek Attack Wing and Bolt Action, War Machine, X-Wing Miniatures Game, Warhammer, Warhammer 40k, um, and so on and so forth. There's quite a few miniatures in stock and a lot of model kits in stock as well. They also carry paints and accessories. Role-playing games are another forte of the store. They carry Dungeons & Dragons, Pathfinder, Shadowrun, Iron Kingdoms, Gamma World, GURPS. There's a lot of things there. Uh, educational games for the children, such as um, Megaformers, which are like magnetic building blocks, Seasons, Hives, Once Upon a Time, Rory Stories Cubes, uh, Spot It, and other games. Now, when it comes to accessories, they have a wide range of Dragon Shield card sleeves and deck boxes. They've got Gal Force 9 gaming aids, Citadel paints, um, and a whole bunch of other things, including White Dwarf Magazine, More Games Illustrated, um, dice, uh, dice bags, and even uh, stuffed dice that you can hang from your car. Uh, <laughs> from your car's rearview mirror, if, if this were the 70s, that is. Now, for the, the next week, um, on Monday, there's a Magic Modern tournament that starts at 7. Warhammer Dark Disc Wars demo at uh, 3 to 5 p.m. And there's Star Wars X-Wing Summer OP tournament starting at 2. And that goes to 6 p.m. On Tuesday, the 23rd, it's Indie Card Game Night from 5 to 10 p.m. for Legend of the Five Rings, Netrunner, Pokemon, Pathfinder, MLP, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, there's uh, the Dual School for Netrunner at 5 o'clock. You learn how to play Netrunner. And then there's Family Game Night. That starts at 7 o'clock. Bring your family down and bring your favorite game with you, or you can go and uh, select from their rental library, which is... a rather large library of board games that you can rent from the store for seven dollars initially for a week and one dollar per day thereafter um, all charges are accrued into the rental fee and if you decide you like the game then you can go ahead and purchase a new one off the shelf and in most cases off of the rental shelf if there isn't any in stock um, and the uh, the fee of the rental will be removed from the price of the game um, if it's off the shelf and if it's um, back in the rental library it's usually a discounted price because it is a used and open item on Wednesday the 24th there's dual school for magic where you learn to play magic and do a draft afterwards it runs from 5 to 6 p.m. Uh, there's a Star Trek attack wing starting at 6 and a magic draft that um, is part of the dual school that starts at 7 I believe anybody is welcome to go into the Magic Draft. You don't have to go through the Dual School to play in it. Um, however, it's best to ask if you go to the event. On Thursday, the 25th, um, there's the Academy playing the game free from 5 to 6, which I believe is a, a program to teach board games. There's Warhammer 40k all day long, and then Dungeons & Dragons Advanced from 5 p.m. on. On Friday the 26th, it's Friday Night Magic starting at 7 p.m., War Machine and Hordes starting at 6 p.m., Warhammer 40k Friday Night Fights starting at 6 p.m., and this week there's a Magic the Gathering Cons of Tarkir release um, event going on that's part of the Friday Night Magic um, 
Friday is uh, the release date for Cons of Tarkir. And uh, most places will sell you a box and uh, when you do a buy a box, there's a buy a box promo with a foil card um, that's usually available. On Saturday the 27th, it is uh, D&D for Beginners at 2 p.m. And Star Wars X-Wing Escalation Tournament starting at 1. And finally, on Sunday the 28th, Pathfinder Society is running all day from noon to 6. They have My Little Pony collectible card game tournament starting at 2. I will provide links to the Dragon's Den um, website in the description below, and I'll flash it up online. Um, it's uh, dragonsdengaming.com. So um, go ahead and check out what Dragon's Den has to offer you. Again, it's located in Glen Allen. And let's see here. I do not see um, an address. They also have an eBay store, so you can go on eBay and find out. And that's stores.ebay.com slash Dragon's Den Gaming. You can find this all on their website. And their phone number is 804-308-0647. If you go in, just tell them you heard from Excalibur Zone Gaming and uh, that you were curious about stopping in and seeing what was um, what the store was about. Uh, the Dragon's Den also offers Players Guild program which gets 10% off special orders and a bunch of other benefits. Talk to a manager or one of the sales associates when you go in to visit. It's, uh, I believe last I heard it was $25 per year with a $20 renewal fee each year. Um, and it provides you with a, a host of um, special um, rewards at the store. Okay, next we have For the Win Games, located here in Midlothian, Virginia. They carry a wide range of products and are mainly a miniatures wargaming store and Magic the Gathering and collectible card gaming store. They do role playing and board games as well, but the main focus of this game store is Warhammer 40k, Warhammer, Dystopian Wars, Infinity, Firestorm Armada, um, and several other miniature war games. You'll have to check it out. They have several racks that are dedicated just to minis and models. They also carry Fantasy Flight, um, Magic the Gathering, uh, War Machine, Hordes, let's see here, Yu-Gi-Oh! They do D&D. &D. They usually have D&D or Pathfinder running quite often in conjunction with their other games. Um, <clears throat> and uh, they have painting and stuff like that. Now these guys run events all the time. A lot of it is Magic the Gathering events and we're going through their calendar right now which I'm gonna have to pull up directly. Let me see here, go to their Google Calendar and it shows me mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and show only there's show only this one there we go so <clears throat> when it comes to for the win games um you'll want to talk to joey uh nick or logan daniel i believe those are the four guys who are still working there and rob bear is the owner he has a youtube channel you can find that off of uh, the for the win games website which is for the win games.com uh sorry for the ftwgames.net. I'm so used to .com on websites, and I'm a computer tech dude, so that's kind of sad. Well, anyway, um, starting on Monday, um, every Monday, actually, there is an avid EDH or commander um, community here in, uh, in the area, and For the Win has actually set up uh, EDH night from 6.30 p.m. until close, for playing EDH there. Um, at 7 p.m. there's Pokemon League. Um, you, Gabby is uh, the one in charge of that. You'll want to talk to her if you want to bring your children in or even you to go and play some Pokemon. Um, on Tuesday the 23rd, and they do this quite a bit, and excuse me, um, 
there's a magic standard cons win a box so um, you go in and the winner or possibly the top four will split a box but you get a booster box for uh, winning the standard tournament uh, Wednesday on the 24th um, there's FTW members night you'll have to talk to FTW about that I believe there's uh, discounts and stuff like that on um, games and such it happens the last Wednesday of each month I believe uh, there's uh, Wednesday's also Warhammer 40k night Star Wars X-Wing League and uh, RPG and board games starting at 7 o'clock um, Warhammer starts at 5 Star Wars at 6 and the RPG and board games at 7 on the Thursday the 25th there's Lord of the Ring and Dystopian Wars at 5 o'clock Star Wars X-Wing night at 6 p.m. and there's a magic draft at 630 that's when startups uh, signups begin on Friday the 26th that's uh, Magic the Gathering cons Friday night magic and release weekend begins there's an um, Pathfinder Society night on Fridays and Friday night magic starting at 630 for registration on Saturday the 27th there's a 40k 1850 point tournament starting at 10 o'clock sign up time and at 12 p.m. they're firing off a Magic the Gathering cons win a box tournament and finally on the 28th there is a 12 p.m. Warhammer Fantasy open play at 12 p.m. they do this all the time 12 p.m. Magic the Gathering cons win a box and at 3 p.m. Pokemon League um, I have usually seen Gabby on Sundays at 3 uh, she's a bright and cheerful girl who is more than happy to teach anyone how to play Pokemon. She also plays other games. Um, as you come to the store and partake in these events, you will get to know these people more often than not. Um, they're all really bright. They're really fun to game with. And uh, they get a lot of people in there to play magic it, it's a madhouse there they tend to live stream um the top two i believe or possibly the top four um friday night magic uh standard um winners sorry my brain got a little fried there <clears throat> so you'll be able to go in and watch on twitch tv the information is on their website and uh You'll find out more. They also have an online store where you can sell and buy magic cards. They uh, they have one of the more unique setups in the store where you can actually go and order cards in the store on an iPad and then they'll go back and fulfill your order for you. Next on the list is One Eye Jacks or One Eye Jocks if you want to say it that way. They are a game store out in Carytown, Richmond, Virginia. That's uh, close to downtown. Um, and it is a uh, Carytown is one of the most historical shopping areas in in Richmond. They carry board games, role playing games, miniatures, disc golf, chess, puzzles, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, they're one of the more unique stores with a scratch and dent section. Um, for discounted games, you might want to check that out if you're in the area. There's a lot of shopping to be had in Carytown, and One Eye Jocks is actually the very first store that I stumbled stumbled across uh, when I was looking for gaming venues in the area. I did not know about Richmond Comics. I thought it was just a comic book store. Uh, when I went to college, I took a um, an English course that was dedicated to comic books and visual medium. Um, giving you a history of how comics started and um, the visual media and how it actually um, improves reading comprehension, gets kids into reading and stuff like that. It is, It was an awesome course uh, taught by Tom DeHaven, a really cool guy who uh, works at VCU. I'm, I don't know if he still works there. Um, he may. I haven't seen him in a very long time. Well, when I jocks um their calendar is kind of um sparse according to um 
Google Calendar, so I'll give you what I can, and then I'm going to look at their Facebook page. Uh, it's starting on Monday. Um, we have Legend of Five Rings at six, and then on Wednesday it's Open Gaming starting at seven, and then uh, six thirty p.m. Friday night Magic kicks off on Friday, and then Sunday is board game night there. Um, they do not have any pre-release events or re release events listed on their calendar, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick look down through their timeline and see if they've um, put any scheduled information there. And no, it does not look like they have put anything um, here. Um, they do have an event. Uh, it's uh, Wiz Kids Hero Clicks Tournament, War of the Light. Sunday, September 28th at 11 a.m. Um, it looks like they have a Boss Monster Tournament running September 27th at 2 p.m. See here. They've uh, mentioned the Cons of Tarkir pre-releases, so I'm pretty sure their Friday Night Magic is going to be Cons of Tarkir release event um, worthy. Uh, let's take a look at the calendar again. Here we go. Nope. They had a Grand Prix that happened on the 17th. And let's see here. That seems to be about the only things that they have listed. Um, you can reach them um, in Carytown. And that's 3104 West Cary Street in Richmond, Virginia. Um, their phone number is 804-359-5163. I'll go ahead and put the phone numbers of each of the stores down in the description. So... Um, you can go ahead and get it, and uh, I will do what I can to get you the hours they're open, or I will point you to the place where you can find their hours. Uh, Facebook is pretty good because it actually lists um, when they're open at the current time, like right now it's saying that one Eye Jacques is currently closed. Um, and later on today, they're going to be open from 10 a.m. until 12 a.m., which... I don't know if that's an actual thing, but if it is, that is a very long time to be open. Um, so there's a lot of fun to be had there. Now, Richmond Comics, they are my jam. They are my favorite local gaming store where I spend um, the majority of my time. Uh, they're closed on Mondays, um, but pretty much open from noon to 6 um, on Tuesdays and Saturdays and Sundays. Noon to 9, Wednesday and Thursday and Friday from noon to midnight and a lot of times it'll go to 2 a.m. on Friday and sometimes later depending on how um, long you're there. Um, our next podcast or our next uh, that's really isn't a podcast it could be considered a podcast I guess um, but the next uh, time I do the news we will be um, talking to Tommy uh, a bit more about what is going on um, I talked to him today and got a bunch, a bunch of information about the, the next week. And uh, his calendar is looking a little sparse. There's not a lot going on on Tuesdays, but there's a lot packed into the game. And uh, you'll see Sunday is going to be pretty crazy. Well, Richmond Comics, as the name implies, started out as a comic book store. Um, and they still have comics. Uh, comics are one of their number one sellers in the store. And then there's Magic and Malifaux role-playing games. They do D&D and Pathfinder. Pathfinder's um, probably the better selling. 4th edition D&D slowed down towards the end, and 5th edition has really kicked up. Um, their collectible card games go from Magic the Gathering to Pokemon to uh, um, indie card games. They carry Looney Labs card games and Steve Jackson games and uh, WizKid, WizKids board games. Um, like Hero Clicks and Quarriers and stuff like that. They have a lot of comic book paraphernalia and they have a lot of um, game accessories. And Magic the Gathering is one of their biggest sellers. They have a wide range of singles in stock. So if you're looking for them, check with, uh, if you're looking for singles, check with uh, Richmond Comics. Well, on to their events. Um, Mondays, they are closed, as stated. Uh, it tends to be kind of slow on Mondays, so they uh, opted to uh, close the doors. Um, on Tuesdays, there's not much going on. 
um, at all on most Tuesdays. Uh, Wednesdays, they have D&D Encounters starting at 6.30 p.m. Uh, Pokemon League on Thursday starting at 5. And Magic the Gathering Standard starts at 6 p.m. Friday night is a pretty big night for Friday Night Magic. Um, there's drafts starting at 7, Friday Night Magic Standard starting at 7.30, and board games are almost always kicking off around 8 o'clock. Um, recently I've been partaking in standard tournaments at Richmond Comics, playing a different deck each week. And now with the new um, release schedule of uh, 18 months versus 24 months for standard rotation, I've decided I'm going to start going to drafts. So I'll be... Um, playing in the the drafts at Richmond Comics um, and quite often and then board games after that unless Commander or something pops up we'll do that. It's also the release weekend of Cons of Tarkir as um, we have said many times before and the Friday Night Magic is going to be geared towards Cons of Tarkir. Starting on Saturday there's a Team Trios event which is a uh, um, been a really really huge hit uh, Tommy has told me uh, 20 to 25 teams and that's teams of three people you get your packs then you build decks together and uh, share the cards and then you go and kick butt um, I have never had an opportunity really to go there due to scheduling and family um, and I rarely can game on Saturdays but team trios has been a really um, popular format here in the area at 12 p.m., there's almost always a Heroclix event of some type going off run by DJ. Uh, you want to talk to him when you go in there. You can ask for DJ or Deej, as uh, his friends call him. And on Sunday, it's crazy. Very, very, very crazy. There is a crazy draft going on at two, at 12 p.m. Now, what that is, for $2 entry, that's right, $2 to enter this draft, you bring in 3 sealed packs of Magic the Gathering cards. They have to be 15 card boosters. If you bring in, and you can bring cards from any set, from Alpha all the way up to Cons of Tarkir. And uh, the awesome thing is it, um, you bring in s sets that only have 8 cards per booster, you have to bring in 2. So that would end up being um, 4 or more packs depending on what sets you bring. Well in any case everybody's gonna bring in these crazy packs and then drafting will begin you'll draft all the cards and then a tournament a Swiss style tournament is going to kick off and <clears throat> the winners will get prize support in terms of um, $50 for first player um, 20 for second and 10 for third I believe the event was uh, created by my friend Dave Bockenkamp and he wanted to give back to the magic community so he came up with this idea for this crazy draft. Um, all of the rares in the game uh, in the tournament are going to be redrafted. There's, if there are multiple pods the redrafts are going to be cross pod and pairings are going to be cross pod. It's going to be one hectic hectic tournament and I'm looking forward to it. I will be there um, and my three packs are yet to be determined. I'm thinking about hitting um, Tommy up at uh, Richmond Comics for a little bit of um, special packs there. We'll have to see. Um, Pokemon League starts at 12 p.m. That's run by Barbara. You'll want to talk to her when you sign in. There's also um, the new D&D um, Living card game. I can't remember the name of it. Let me just take a quick look. Uh, I think it's the Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League. There's a, a special event going on this uh, uh, today, this Sunday, the um, the 21st was the first time they had met and there's going to be another event on the 28th as well. I was going to jump into that but I can't because I'm taking um, I'm participating in the draft but I will be um, enjoying some time playing that D&D stuff. Um, if there's anything else that comes up with Richmond Comics, I will put it into the, in the description. I'll have to review the interview I had with Tommy after gaming today because he had mentioned a couple of extra things that I really want to make sure I put in there. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> 
Finally, we have the time capsule in Hopewell, Virginia. They have board games, card games, and they do a lot of magic. They are paired up with the Silver Unicorn. So it's uh, the time capsule and Silver Unicorn share the same um, space. Uh, Silver Unicorn does comics and time capsule does games. Um, between the two stores, they sell magic, Pokemon, card fight Vanguard, and a very large and a large uh, a very large selection of board games and role playing games, hero clicks, and comics. Um, the events that go on are standard at seven o'clock on Wednesdays. Friday night magic draft and standard firing off at seven thirty p.m. Fridays, and they have a rotating format event on Sundays at two p.m. Excuse me, I need a drink. There's the Cons of Tarkir releases this weekend as well. They they make note of that. They have a Star City Games Fall State Championships on Sunday, October 12th at, at the VFW Fire Hall in Hopewell that uh, Rick wanted to let me know. He's uh, Rick Ralston is the guy running Time Capsule. And I will provide the link to the website there. He can. Uh, I'm trying to get him to use... Google Calendar so that people can subscribe to his calendar and find out what events are going on ahead of time and be able to plan. But he does a lot of his posting of his events, just like One Eyed Jocks does, up on the Facebook page. And you'll have those links when we're done. Well, that is it for this episode of Favorite Local Gaming Store News, or FLGS News. Join us next Monday, the 29th, while I go ahead and talk about more um, about the next week's schedule. And we will be talking about how the pre-release and release events went. Um, Friday night was scary busy at Richmond Comics. Almost every seat was taken up with board games, card games, role-playing games, Friday Night Magic, you name it, it was happening. Um, it's a very hopping place on Fridays. For the win is always hopping on Fridays. Sometimes upwards of 50 or 60 people on a Friday night. Um, and their pre-release events went very well. Richmond Comics ran out of pre-release kits. And he had enough for 80 seats. And they all sold within two days. So that was a pretty big thing. Um, for the win, still had a couple of packs left on Saturday, um, but it looked like they were going to be running out as well. The other stores, I am unsure of. I have not gotten in contact with the Dragon's Den, nor Time Capsule, or when I jacks on how their release pre-release events went. Um, I hope to give a call, at least voice um, communications between uh, the stores. I can't make it to on. Um, make it easily to. Uh, Hopewell is quite a distance away from me and uh, Dragon's Den is a is a haul as well but for the win um, and one I jocks I could possibly visit them on the way back from work sometimes but uh, for the win and Richmond Comics are um, hop skip and a jump away from each other and I will game at one or the other in most cases. Alright until the 28th this is Excalibur enjoy playing games visit your favorite local game stores and if you're in richmond visit one of these wonderful game stores if i have missed a game store in the area please let me know in the comments and i will be sure to contact them and make sure that they are aware of what i'm doing and get their permission well i don't need their permission to talk about them because i will go visit them find out how cool they are and i will talk about them um but i will talk to them and make sure they're okay with me pimping them up and most stores are all right with uh, free advertising um, please like favorite and subscribe it really helps me um, the favorite is optional but uh, um, it's really good to know if something is going well on my channel or not and I can tell by the likes and by the number of subscribers I receive until next time, this is Excalibur, and I am out.